hello welcome back to the channel so yeah I've uh, I've taken a little ride up a volcano in Taiwan so here we can see I'm zooming in it looks like cloud but it's actually sulfur gases coming out of the the side of the mountain the volcano here um, so I'm going to take you a little bit about mountains volcanoes oh. so the three types we've got extinct we've got dormant and active so extinct means they're not erupted in human history you know from when recording started an example of this would be Edinburgh Castle dormant have not erupted in a long time but are expected to erupt in the future when in the future well this seismic um, apparatus on the islands or any around any volcano so scientists can pretty much tell when movement changes so they can find that but we don't know when exactly it could be tomorrow it could be next week next year a hundred years thousand years from now a couple examples of dormant would be Mount Kilimanjaro Tanzania in Africa or Mount Fuji in Japan, one of the most beautiful volcanoes with a little snow peak on it. Probably one of the most photographed and painted as well in the world. I'm going to stick my neck out there. So active is basically have erupted during the Holocene um, or is currently erupting or is potential to erupt in the future. Erupt in the future, isn't that dormant as well? So a dormant one still active? I don't know you decide so a couple of examples of that for um, around here at least are the Taitung volcanic group in northern Taiwan or the Grecian island also known as the turtle island so Shan actually means island uh, sorry Shan means mountain not island in here in Taiwan I think it's Mandarin Chinese so I mentioned Holocene um, so Holocene is a brief flash in time compared to the other epochs and is pretty much an uh, interglacial period of the current ice age that we're in now so it's all of this has been recorded in the human history um, from now from the last ice age is what we say the Holocene so everything recorded now so when we talk about the volcanoes, the dormant and the activity. And that's only 11, I say only, 11,700 years ago. So here in Yemen, saying I, in uh, north of Taiwan, it's a national park, north of Beito. It's got hot springs, um, which all, it's a cluster of mountains. So it's next, next to the Xiaomiao Mountain, the Quixing Mountain or the Seven Star Mountain, Datong Mountains on the right hand side, sometimes called Tatong, and the uh, Guiyan Mountains are at the front. So as I say, it's a cluster of mountains that make up the Yanmenseng. The total area of the Yanmenseng National Park, one of the largest in Taiwan, I think it's the largest actually, is uh, 11,338 hectares so if you think of how big a soccer football pitch is then that's 11,338 so the national park in Yamingsang is designed in a traditional Chinese style it's one of the nine national parks in Taiwan so it spans across Taiwan, uh, Taipei sorry, and New Taipei City so Beitou and Shilling districts in Taipei. Beitou's lovely as well. It's got a, a lot of hot springs there, which is absolutely amazing. So there's public ones, or you can get private ones. You can go in a hotel and they have the little private ones as well. Some of the rivers, people have made little hot springs on the side. They're also free. And then in New Taipei City, we've got Wanli, Jinxing, Sanxi and Damsui districts, which also span into the Yanmin Sang National Park. So what else is it known for? Well, I've mentioned the hot springs. It's also got the cherry blossoms, 
the sulfur deposits that we're seeing now they really do smell you think of Wizard of Oz, uh, Wizard of Oz and you think Ew, what a horrible smell of sulfur it's basically that kind of gunpowder it's like rotten eggs I call this mountain stinky mountain because it is like rotten eggs and if the wind is coming down and you can smell it it's just not great so these are fumaroles um, also known as fumarole fumarole it's just basically little vents that are coming off on a rocky planet it could be any planet that's rocky earth is our nearest one obviously it does smell and they can die down after a couple of days are the gases poisonous they can be so uh, obviously don't get too close and don't go sniffing too much and they're quite hot as well the gases are hot what else um, venomous snakes it has the pit viper I believe it's called it is a part of a the rattlesnake and hiking trails lots and lots of hiking trails up in here so it's Taiwan's tallest dormant volcano is a Guixing the seven star and that's 1120 meters in height or 300 3675 feet above sea level I hope you're enjoying the pictures that are accompanying the video along here as well. So what's Taiwan like? Well, it's a humid subtropical climate. It's always humid, whether it's sunny, the rain comes and it just does make it die down a little bit, which is great. We love the rain, apart from the typhoons. So I mentioned Taiwan is a humid subtropical climate. The summers are warm, humid, um, I can't believe by torrentious um, rainstorms. The winters are cool, they're wet, foggy, due to the northeasterly winds from the vast Siberian high, uh, which affects the southern eastern part of Russia, Mongolia, China, all around this area. Taiwan's just off the Asia. Taipei, Taiwan sits in a basin and if we look at this now we can see this is the basin surrounded by mountains. If you think of your sink, your basin, a washing bowl, we can see the Damsui River there and that's also the Taipei Basin. Taipei 101 is just to the left hand side there, now coming near the centre of the screen. We get a lot of uh, typhoons here as well, as we're close to the Pacific. The typhoon season is now, it's between June and October. And that's basically because the temperatures in the, the ocean think you're boiling the kettle the water gets hot so then the steam comes out and that's basically what the typhoon is the typhoon's like the steam and because of the the ocean current the winds the the pressure and of course the earth spinning that will cause the typhoon and then they'll just most of the time they stay out in the, in the Pacific Ocean occasionally they do come inland to various So I'm going to include a lot of links about the uh, volcanoes, the different size, anything else that I could find. There's going to be a few links down there, so do please check out them um, for more information on the volcanoes. What do you think? Do you think that the Yamingsang is active or dormant? Um, 
if you look anywhere it says dormant so let me know in the comments below and i'll look forward to reading them you take care thanks a lot bye bye